morning, everybody! Welcome back to my chemistry classroom. Today, I'm going to demonstrate that I have acid breath. You want to know something? You do, too! How do you know? Let's find out. I'm going to take this distilled water, put some of it into this flask right here like that. Let's just open this up and pour this in like that. Isn't that delightful? Now, neutral water, which is what water is, contains an equal concentration of hydronium and hydroxide ions to the tune of 10 to the negative 7th molar each. Now, pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. And since the concentration is 10 to the negative 7th molar, the negative log of that is 7, which is why the pH of water is 7. It's not some magical number that somebody just pulled out of thin air. Into this neutral pH water, I shall place some phenolphthalein, an absolutely marvelous acid-base indicator, which just so happens to change color at a pH of about 8, from colorless to pink. Here we go. Oh yeah, indeed, look at that. It's totally and completely colorless. Forgive my eyes for doing the wig and back and forth thing. I'm looking at myself on the screen here and at you here. Well, I'm not actually looking at you, I'm looking at the lens of the camera, but I'm distracted by the fact that my face is like right over here. So if you see my eyes kind of wig back and forth, that's why. Now to this neutral water, we're gonna add some sodium hydroxide. Watch what happens. Isn't that pretty? Nice pink color for the phenolphthalein. And now, as promised, I'm going to prove to you that I have acid breath. Here's how. I'm going to take this straw, it's actually a piece of glass tubing, and I'm going to blow through this straw into this phenolphthalein, like so. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. neutralize the base. How? Well, see, my breath contains carbon dioxide, and well, so does yours. And when carbon dioxide mixes with water, some of it combines to form carbonic acid, which lowers the pH. Now, originally the pH was above 8. How do I know? Because the phenolphthalein was pink. The pH is now below 8. How do I know? <laughs> well, because it's not pink anymore. So the addition of carbon dioxide to an aqueous solution results in carbonic acid. Now this is exactly how acid rain gets formed. When you get acid anhydrides like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide, which are all a product of combustion, you know, from cars or industry or whatever, those oxides go up into the atmosphere, they combine with the water vapor and turn into acids. Nitric acid, sulfurous acid, carbonic acid, and then they come raining back down on you. Isn't that great? You're being rained on by acid. Ha ha! Just to demonstrate there's no trick here, again, I'm going to put the NaOH back in so you can see that, in fact, it does turn pink again. And we can neutralize it with an acid, just in case you don't believe me that acids neutralize bases, okay? And you should always question. This is hydrochloric acid. Watch this. Isn't that awesome? The acid neutralized the base. That's exactly what my breath did. Hey, let's try it again. Put a little bit more base in. It's getting nice and pink. Yeah, look at that, that's pink. Now when you do this, you gotta remember to exhale. Don't inhale. Now the sodium hydroxide is fairly dilute, but it can cause tissue damage. The real problem is the phenolphthalein, which used to be the active ingredient in, well, let's just say, laxatives. And in this concentration, well, let's just say if I drank this, I'd be running out of here in one heck of a hurry. All right, one more time. <gasps> Now you see, I put a lot more base in this last time, so it took a lot more breathing to neutralize it. 
And that is proof that I have acid breath. And you want to know something? You do too. Ha <laughs> ha!